12 months ago, Finzia announced a strategy to focus on professionalisation of financial services. And it's important we look at the business case that sits behind that strategy. Finzia recently has conducted research with consumers about their expectations of the conduct and the professionalism of the people they deal with. I think it's interesting to reflect that consumers have a very high level of trust in terms of the organisation's uh, and financial services' ability to uh, manage their accounts, to make sure the payment goes through. So, so the process of financial services is actually working very well for consumers. Disappointingly, however, that level of trust is not at the levels that it needs to be. And while 66% of consumers in that survey uh, said they had a high level of trust in the people that they deal with, that still leaves a significant gap for us to close. And that's an important part of our professionalisation strategy. That number does need to be higher, it does need to better reflect confidence that people will always see the financial institutions and the people who represent those acting in their best interests. Our research also indicated that consumers do understand what a professional is. They understand professional qualifications. They understand the requirement for people to continuously develop their skills. And they also understand that professionals need to be held to account for a code of conduct by a professional institute. It's often said that investing in skills may carry a first move at disadvantage. However, that is probably not the case. In the same survey, 13% of all consumers and 19% of the critical under 45 segment said that they would move institution to an organisation where the staff displayed high levels of professionalism. So it really is quite straightforward that what consumers want is to know they're dealing with someone who has the highest levels of competency and someone who will act in their best interests all the time. Since the GFC, there has been a huge focus on raising financial capital requirements of the industry. However, what there hasn't been the same focus on, which is just as important, is in fact investing in human capital. Finzia is taking advantage of international experience in its professionalisation initiative, and we formed two crucial partnerships. One is with the Chartered Bank Institute, and the other is with the Chartered Institute for Securities and Investment. We've been working very hard over the last 12 months to deliver the first of the new qualifications, Professional Banking Fundamentals. We also have been working with the Chartered Institute of Securities and Investment to bring in the Integrity in Financial Services Workshop, which is now to be delivered by Finzia. An important international initiative which Finzia is supporting is the establishment of a Global Banking Education Standards Board. And with our assistance, the first standard has just been released which focuses on ethics education. Whilst there are various industry codes of conduct, Finzia is advocating for the establishment of a code of conduct to apply to individuals across financial services. We believe this should be industry-led via a council and we've been working hard with organisations right across the industry to further this objective. Over the next 12 months you will see the delivery of a lot more of our strategy with further qualifications to be released and a significant enhancement to our continuous professional development capability. I would like to thank you for your support for Finzia over the last 12 months and hope that that support will continue, not just for Finzia as a professional body, but that you will be an advocate for the goal of professionalisation and ensure that as an industry we deliver better outcomes for our customers.